Hello Power and Lightning Collection fans, and welcome back to Lightning Storm, the series where lightning always strikes twice as we talk about everything that's happened in the past week for the Power News Lightning Collection. So I thought this was going to be a pretty uneventful week, and it kind of was until yesterday, and also sort of Thursday, so we do actually have some pretty good things to talk about this week, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. So first up for this week, we have some pictures of Remastered Black. You know, Remastered Black, the figure that they showed off during the April 17th fan stream, and then just haven't talked about since. And it's been nearly two months at this point. We're inching closer and closer to two months since his reveal, when they revealed the entirety of the rest of Remastered, which have been up for pre-order since April, and we at least saw the figure back then when they talked about it. And if you remember the whole thing where like I had heard that it was going to be part of Wave 2 alongside a restock of Yellow and Blue, originally, originally it was going to be with Red in a Wave 2, and they, they restructured everything all over the place with this guy. So I thought that this was like a surefire pre-order back in April, and it was the only one that didn't go for pre-order, so it was definitely a weird situation. Uh, I saw this one picture, this one video on Twitter that I thought was pretty amusing that kind of summed up the whole idea of where the pre-orders were or anything for this figure well we still don't know we still don't know when we're going to get pre-orders if we're even going to get pre-orders for this figure because i still kind of think that we're not even going to get pre-orders and that's kind of leading into something else that we're going to talk about later on today but from our classic lightning collection photo leaker yuso half on twitter we have pictures of remastered black where are these pictures coming from I think I know, but I can't say. So we have these pictures of Remastered Black, just two of them. Uh, one that shows the accessories layout picture and one that shows the box picture. But that's perfectly acceptable because those are some of the most important press shots that we get for Lightning Collection figures. So we can now have a nice little group shot of the six of them with the Remastered boxes and the six of them with the Remastered layouts. So of course, as we saw from the April stream, it's going to come with those purple effect pieces since they're not going to make black effect pieces. You know, that would have been kind of cool, but it's the same sort of effect pieces that the rest of the team had from the rest of Remastered. You get the same Morpher, the Morpher Posing Hands, the Power Axe, the Blade Blaster, the redone Zack Head, which this picture is still a little blurry, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly how good or how much better this Zack Head sculpt is compared to the previous two that we've had in the line. But I think it's probably the best one. At least I think it's definitely the best one in capturing his hairstyle. I still don't think the face looks exactly like Walter Jones all that much, but I don't know why they can't just get a Zack face looking good. I don't think any of them have really looked like him. But this is, I think, the best attempt, at least at the hair. So, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to get this figure officially, like, up for pre-order. It has already been officially revealed. We're just waiting to be able to figure out when to order it. My personal opinion is that, especially due to the fact that these pictures have leaked for him, I expect that he will probably just be another one of those random social media drops where they're like, hey, there he is. In fact, I would not even be surprised if he doesn't get pre-orders, since he is going to be releasing with a restock of yellow and blue. I would not be surprised if just, like, Pulse randomly on a Friday gets restocks of them or Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Story does, and then Black just goes up in stock. Because as we've seen literally yesterday, things can just, and it's happened before, go up in stock and not have any kind of pre-orders with them whatsoever. And I personally think that's what's going to happen with Remastered Black, either in June or maybe at the very least or at the very most July. But we'll have to wait and see. Next up for this week here, the Alien Rangers might be showing up in the US a little sooner than expected. However, it's kind of a weird thing because if you remember like not that long ago, they were somewhat long ago, they delayed them from June 1st, which would have been a couple of days ago, to August 1st, and now they've pushed them back again or pushed them up again. So it's a kind of weird thing because it's like technically this is like, you know, moving the date up from a delay, but it's like at the same time, it's still kind of around when it was always supposed to be anyway. So I don't really know why the delay even happened in the first place. The set's been out in the UK for a couple weeks at this point. We've seen how nice it looks, how relatively light it is on quality control problems. In fact, I don't really think I've seen much of any quality control problems on this set, which is fantastic, especially for how expensive this thing is. But this past week, Hasbro Pulse moved up their release date to June 9th. So that is this upcoming Friday, which is definitely an interesting thing because typically Pulse ships things out so they start charging people for things on Tuesdays. Uh, that's actually happening this upcoming week with the Spider-Man No Way Home 3 pack, which I was not ready for in June. I was ready for in August. So two very expensive multi-packs are about to release on Pulse like at the same time. So that's that's great. But anyway, June 9th is what they have as the new date for that. Now, I was curious, so I checked Amazon. And while Amazon hasn't moved up their date and they haven't sent out any shipping soon emails, which they probably will here pretty soon, I would imagine, they no longer have it up for pre-order. And for the longest time, this set was still up for pre-order for like the last six months 
you can still pre-order it on Amazon, even though Pulse had, you know, taken it down from pre-order and put it back up at least once or twice over the last couple of months. So right now it's listed as currently unavailable on Amazon, and it's still sold out pre-orders on Pulse. I'm sure that once it starts shipping out later on this week from at least Pulse and maybe probably Amazon around the same time as well, it will go back up. So I will still be leaving my Amazon affiliate link for it in the description below if it does go back up, but I would not be surprised if since the Pulse date has changed, the Amazon date is probably going to change pretty soon as well. And I figure probably by like mid-June-ish, that kind of time frame, the set will probably be released from both websites here in the U.S. All right, so here's the big story of the week. Invisible Phantom. So we actually have two things to talk about for Invisible Phantom. He would have been mentioned this week on the show, regardless of what happened yesterday. But first of all, he's available in Australia. The retailer Angel Grove Collectibles got a stock of them in this past week. Or, you know, people were joking they did not get a stock in. It's just an empty box because, haha, you know, invisible jokes. Every time this figure's posted, there's jokes about, well, I have it right here. You know, it's right here. <laughs> you know it's a bit but anyway Andrew Grove Collectibles got it in this past week the last time I checked they had a couple left on their site so if you are an Australian fan there you might be able to still get one there and I will be leaving a link to that in the description below from that site and that would have been the end of it I would have said yeah you know it's nice that it's available in Australia now it's been available in the UK for months who in even Canada has it in GameStop I think but also like we I was gonna say is it ever gonna show up in the US are they ever gonna officially acknowledge it and I would have ended the story there uh, yeah but they did they did officially acknowledge it yesterday out of nowhere, and in classic Hasbro fashion, it was a post that was full of inaccuracies and errors, because, you know, that's where we're at with this. So the Hasbro Pulse account, of course, not the Power Rangers account, because I still don't think there's really anybody running that one, but the Hasbro Pulse account on Twitter posted a tweet that said, the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Invisible Phantom Ranger from Power Rangers in Space, ugh, is available now exclusively at Walgreens, with limited quantities available on Hasbro Pulse. Pulse Premium members can shop now, with remaining quantities available to all fans at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So, let's dissect that post. So first of all, that confirms and officially reveals Invisible Phantom Ranger as the 167th figure in the Lightning Collection. So that's great. I'm happy that we finally and actually got an official review for this one. I was a little worried this was going to be a in space silver kind of situation where it was going to have released multiple places and even multiple pulses would have gotten it. I was I was worried that pretty much this exact scenario would happen where it would just go up on US Pulse, but then they would never acknowledge it. But thankfully they did acknowledge it here. Kind of wish they didn't because the acknowledgement was full of random nonsense. So first of all, the post and the graphic say in space invisible phantom ranger that's not a big deal the original phantom ranger figure was called that as well but the box literally says turbo invisible phantom ranger they fixed it for this release i don't know why they keep talking about this being an in space figure it is not it never was the original one never was supposed to be one either it never should have been one either so that's just a weird thing that i don't like that they keep doing that it was just the weirdest part about it is the fact that they literally did fix it or they you know made it more correct for the new release here and then when they were marketing it they made it wrong again and the little product description on Hasbro Pulse also still has a say in space. And I'm just like, okay. But, you know, regardless, you can buy it now. And that's the thing that matters. Now, also, Walgreens? Huh? So I did not see that one coming whatsoever. So technically, we had not known, or we didn't know, what retailer this was going to be exclusive to in the U.S. Signs were kind of pointing that it was going to just be a GameStop exclusive. Because it's a GameStop exclusive in Canada. And it was kind of showing up around the same time internationally as like Lost Galaxy Yellow and SPD Yellow, which we know were labeled as GameStop exclusives. And for the longest time, those three figures were figures that we knew were exclusives, but we didn't know where they were going to be exclusives. And so it was just kind of easy to group them all together as like three GameStop exclusives. So when they revealed the yellows and they didn't reveal Invisible Phantom a couple months ago, I just kind of assumed that that was because, you know, they wanted to group the two yellows together and save Invisible Phantom for later. But now we turn out, or now we find out, that it's because he's a Walgreens exclusive. Which, like, is practically meaningless at this point, because of course the Walgreens website does not have him. And this is a very similar situation, in a way, to In Space Silver from 2021. But it's basically exactly what happened with that, done correctly. So, <laughs> what I mean by that is that, just like In Space Silver, Invisible Phantom is a shadow drop on Hasbro Pulse, where it just came out of absolutely nowhere, and it's a Walgreens exclusive that Walgreens does not have yet. So we're following all the same formula there. However, at least this time, Hasbro officially acknowledged it, which they did not do for InSpace Silver, and the last time I checked, he's still available on Hasbro Pulse, where InSpace Silver was not. So either this one has more quantities, or this one is not as desired as InSpace Silver was, which I'm sure is probably some sort of mixture of the two scenarios, because 
This is not a team completer. This is a variant figure. And also, I don't feel like a lot of people necessarily really want this one. Some people do. I definitely did. But it's not a figure that I expect to sell out super, super quickly from Pulse. So at least there's that. Will Walgreens get it sometime before 2025? Who knows? Because In Space Silver took two years. It took from 2021 to 2023 for that figure to finally show up where it was supposed to. So who knows? We might not see this figure in stores until 2025. But I guess you could check Walgreens for this and maybe Walgreens will put it up on their site. But at least for now, you can just get it on Pulse. In fact, they already started shipping them out for people from Pulse, so they wasted no time getting that thing out the door, which is great, uh, because it's a figure that's been released for months. So it's nice to just have it here finally, have it officially revealed, have a you know release method of it confirmed in a relatively easy way to get it, and we can kind of just put it past us. But it's one of those weird figures in the line that just was marketed really weirdly, really badly, honestly, and was confusing all the way through. And then finally for this week, I wanted to do a little lightning strike of the week here because I was going to do this in my own video because I hadn't seen anybody do it yet, but this was an inevitability. So with Dino Thunder Black shipping out from Hasbro Pulse and Amazon and such this past week, which by the way, he is in stock on Hasbro Pulse the last time I checked, so there'll be a link for him in the description below, as well as all my Way 14 Amazon affiliate links, which up out the channel if you use those. But with him showing up and with SPD Yellow being released recently as well, it was an inevitability that people were going to recreate the infamous no one gets inside this circle, no one gets inside, no one gets inside, no one gets inside picture from the wormhole crossover between SPD and Dino Thunder. And at Blazonart on Twitter finally did just that. So we have some really nice pictures recreating some scenes from the special, such as the three girls, Shadow and Tommy meeting each other and talking, the kind of first group morph that's, you know, before the circle shows up, before the rest of the SPD team appears. Then, of course, the iconic circle shot with everybody there, which I love it. I love it so much that you can finally make that lightning collection that we actually have every single ranger in that lineup there. Now we just need some crybots because right now we just have them in you know saying nobody can get inside the circle to nobody so yeah nobody's gonna get inside the circle because there's nobody for them to fight so hopefully we can get some tyranno drones or crybots or whatever it may be uh, for the rangers to fight i guess you could have them fight mesagog that's the only villain from that era that we have right now uh but still i think it's really cool that you can make this and it was definitely something i wanted to do in my video i might still do so uh, whenever i get my spd yellow because that's the last one i don't have yet because i did just get this guy in the other day where is he I did just get Dino Thunder Black in yesterday, so I finally have my entire Wave 4 team. Oh, he's a little wobbly. But yeah, so I like the circle shot a lot, and it was really cool to finally see it recreated with the Lightning Collection. All right, and with that, that is going to do it for this week's episode of Lightning Storm. Of course, until next time, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts about anything I talked about down in the comments below. And of course, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or Lightning Fick PR, and I'll see you all on Lightning Storm. The series where Lightning always strikes twice. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics 1017, James Darty, John Luke, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, ZPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, and Uni Warrior Thomas. You can support Tokutopics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.